I have been asked to make a tutorial on how to use the Mark Generator for ore processing. I'm using Industrial Wires build 26 and Immersive Engineering build 77, those of which aren't public yet. The first part of the tutorial will be about using control panels, setting up control panels to use the Mark Generator properly. The second part will be about calculating the voltage for specific types of ore. The control panel for the Marx generator is going to have five components, a variac to set the charging voltage, a, control, uh, a panel meter to monitor the charging voltage, panel meters for the bottom and top capacitor voltage, and a button to fire the generator. Charging voltage is on the yellow and white channel, so a variac to set it, a control panel to monitor it, a panel meter to monitor it. The bottom capacitor voltage is orange and lime, and the top capacitor voltage is magenta and pink. The second channel here is to set the for fine control. The first channel has 15 settings, we need more than that, so the second channel can be used to set the voltage in between the settings of the first channel, and the firing button is on the light blue channel. Now we place the components on the panel. I have I have made a video about making control panels a few months ago. If you don't know how this works, you can check that out. Uh, it is a bit easier to make nice looking panels now because, as you can see, they the components can snap to each other, so they are aligned now. Create new component new control panel. There will be a small cut before this. Uh, I had accidentally set this to be channel 1, so it didn't work. So we set some charging voltage. This is just to test, to test that it works. As you can see, the bottom capacitor voltage is rising quite quickly. The top capacitor is lagging behind, as it should. You can right-click the variac to change the course voltage setting, the first channel, white in this case, or you can shift right click, change it a tiny tiny amount, one signal strength on the second channel. And now wait for, or actually we don't have all in there so we don't have to wait till it equalizes. You can just fire, but I'm going to need EMFs. The defenders they are called here. And there you go. Now how to calculate the energy, the voltage and the redstone signals required for a specific ore. First of all, what do we know from the manual? The capacitance per stage is 1.6 microfarads. A microfarad is a millionth of a farad which is a unit of capacitance. The total energy is the sum of all per capacitor energies. The capacitor voltages and therefore the energies equalize out after some charging time. And the energy stored in the capacitor can be calculated using this formula. This is the, the, the last three are how you would do this IRL as well. Now, that gives us this formula for the total energy. And if you rearrange that to get the voltage rather than the energy, you get this formula to calculate the voltage required to get a specific energy. Now, how do we get the redstone signals from that voltage? The maximum voltage per stage is 250 kilovolts. The maximum redstone signal we can put in is 15 plus 15. Well, 15 on the one channel and 15 on the other channel, which is which is 255. So that gives us this formula. These weird brackets here just mean round down. So if it's 10.6, you use 10. And for yellow, this is rounding. So 10.6 would in this case mean 11. It's the same as doing modulo. I will now calculate the voltage required for to process one piece of 
coal ore. The energy for that is 50 kilojoules. So voltage is equal to square root of 2 times energy divided by n times capacitance, which gives us 112 kilovolts. This is a problem because the max generator will misfire if we put in less than half the maximum voltage, which is which would be 125 kilovolts. So this is too little energy for it to work. We can process two pieces of ore at once. So we need, when in that case, we'll need 100 kilojoules and more voltage. 158 kilo, kilovolts. The redstone signals we can calculate as I said. Floor. I've made a constant for that weird factor 255 divided by 250 kilovolts times u by 16. 10 is the white signal and yellow is, no, not floor, round. Uh, Rs times u modulo 16 gives us 1. So 10 on the white channel, 1 on the yellow channel. Go plug that in. In the beginning of this video, I said that this was a dev build of industrial wires, not one that is public yet. It's important now because this device, the energy discharge meter, the discharge energy meter, is not in any of the public builds yet. It does just what the name suggests, it me measures the energy of a discharge. You put in a piece of aluminium wire and that gets blown up and you can in some way reach the energy from that. So 10 and 1 and now we wait and it's charged now and fire 99.4 kilojoules that's pretty much perfect. Um, I'll take away the energy meter and put in two blocks of iron ore. I know I said coal ore before. I was wrong. The calculations were for iron ore. That's the stuff that takes 50 kilojoules. And now we wait again. And fire again. And as you can see we did not get the eight iron dust that it, we should have gotten. Ideally, that's because there's a small factor, a small error in the values in the book. The error is less than 10% and it's randomly generated per, per world. So I have, I think, something around 0.95 I checked earlier, which is why this is a completely wrong direction. And this should give us less rather than more. Yeah, you see, we didn't get as much as we did before, so we passed the voltage in the wrong direction. Now we're back at the old voltage, and now we are slightly lower. And... It should. Okay, it started lagging all of a sudden. Not sure why it did that. Yeah, now we got the perfect result 8 iron dust. A little preview of uh, features that will be in the release after the next or even one later than that.